Alrighty guys, the suspension parts finally came in. So we we're gonna do the rear suspension, coils, springs, get them on here. We won't bolt it up yet. Uh, drilled and slotted rotors came in. Uh, here's the old rotors. And then we got some new fancy pantsy ones, but I don't wanna open them up yet until the calipers come in. They have yet to arrive. So we'll at least get the coils in today and mount them up of course this would be the easiest way to bolt in we don't want to worry about compressing it all the way we can use a jack when we get the diff and everything in you just jack it back up and let it compress put that on but yeah let's get to work it's gonna be a fun one um yeah uh you get a chance of blowing up got some spring compressor and we'll compress them down and then we'll be able to get the shock mounts in to the new struts, or the struts into the new shock mounts and put them in. Let's get her done. Let's get it going. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It's a good day today. Good day to have a spring blow up. These are really cool too, because they can lock. I don't know if you see that, but there's a little lock. Keeps it from kind of slipping, which is awesome. You don't want to go in the very bottom because that's where the uh, coil is going to usually go. I usually just go and skip one. I'll lock it in. Oh, locker. Well, this one in maybe. Come on. Yeah. And then we'll tighten it up a little bit and then put it the other one on the other side. Get it on there as well. Honestly, we could. Just a wee bit. Of course, we should never use an impact or a mini impact to tighten these all the way because then you won't be able to tell if it's slipping or not. You don't want it to slip, that's uh, very dangerous. But we'll just get it. Of course, this impact isn't going to go where, where it needs to be, but at least we can get somewhere in the ballpark getting it tight. So I can do the other side. Get this out of the way. We'll throw on the other one. <clears throat> Clicky again. And click again. Get it out even. Pack this one on there. Okay, now that I got it somewhat tight, I'll manually do the rest so we can actually know what's going to happen. Another tip you should have the spring kind of point towards you. Um, but. These are baby springs, so they're not too scary. And with these cool locks, I'm not too worried about it. But you just wanna go one side, just go on the other side, keep it even, even compression. And uh, obviously you don't have to crank it all the way down, but we need to get it tight enough to where we can put the strut to the strut mount and tighten it on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible how these things work, how they're already under compression and stuff. It's also scary. But go from there. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, so you can tell we have quite a lot of travel to go still. Just this right here and start compressing. Get her done. Like, gonna need another. <clears throat> 
We'll just do two ratchets, that way I don't have to mess with fighting this one little spring spot. It's already got tension on it. Put this on this side. If I can, a little bit more. We're almost there. There's actually a, a flat cut on the thread to where it needs to go and slide on in. But we're right there. We just need to compress it a wee bit more. I should just be able to do right here. I think it's just this side of the spring. Put our new bolt in or a nut. Actually, before I even put it on, I gotta go get a socket because I don't know what socket size this is. We'll carefully put this back down. this on of course in the compression tighten this up all the way and we're good to go actually false oh the box is right in front of me but uh, we gotta put this on yep Wait for a breath. so yeah down a little bit to the next spot where we can actually pop her out. Booyah! And like I said, we'll tighten this up all the way. I don't know if you can see it the light, but tighten her up all the way when we get these two mounted. That way this isn't free spinning because it's too tight. The shock usually can free spin this pain butt. So uh, we'll get the other one done real quick. Do some skipping and fast forwarding to the next thing and then uh, we'll start putting them in the car. 
All right, got the springs all finally done, taken care of. Um, when you do it the first time, or when you change them out, go ahead and make sure that this hole lines up with these as well. That way when you're putting them in, you don't have to worry about twisting it. It's just, they just kind of plop in, it's super easy. But um, yeah, it's not gonna be too bad at all. Uh, we'll take the the uh, retaining, whatever you wanna call it, bolt, bottom bolt out real quick. And uh, as you can tell, I already got this side done. But yeah, they're looking way nicer and stiffer than before. But we'll take the bolt out on this side, or on the passenger side, and then we'll push her in. It's very easy when you have this undone because you can put your weight down on it and just sink it down. But now that this is connected tight, it's she's not moving. She's, she's pretty solid. Um, you can definitely tell the other shocks were just worn out. But we'll go ahead and put this here and get her done. Super easy to get out. But I kept the, the bolts in. Uh, when I was working on the car, so I didn't lose anything. And actually, that's a three fourths. I have the wrong ratchet. We didn't want to lose any bolts in this project or know what I need to replace. I take them out of the hardware store. But we'll take the bolt out, nice and loose. Go in. Here, oh, one already went in. Just got pushed down on it. There it goes. All right, we get it in, and I think up here it's already done. Check real quick. Yep, bam, bam. And I'm gonna go ahead and. Oop, that ain't good. Let me grab this bolt real quick or nut. We'll cinch it on there. Ugh. And I'm gonna have to grab another one of the older ones because I can't find the other one yet. It's somewhere over there, but for now I need to get something on here to twist it. So I'm gonna put these on here real quick just so we don't have to worry about it popping out. As you can tell, right here, the um, the hole on the actual shock is still twisted. So I need to get a flathead in here and kind of pry it flush with it. Um, or not a flathead, just a breaker bar or something. It just happens to be a nice little meaty flathead. So we'll put you here. A little too far from it, but I'm gonna go in. No, I'm gonna try to. Here it goes. Put it right back on in there. Now it should line up. Just a bolt here. Here, and we'll cinch these down real quick. I'll kind of put y'all right there real quick. And I believe it's a 13. I believe this one's a 14. Universal. Line here. All right, now I got them somewhat tight. We'll get the extension over here, which is right in front of my face. We'll go ahead and cinch these top bolts and then we'll cinch the ones on the bottom and just like that, the shocks are good to go. But yeah, now that these are in here, nice, 
I, I can tighten these center ones that actually go to the, the shot to make sure they're done on both sides now. Oh, see, this one was loose. A good three turns, it looks like. Okay. Those are done. Now the mounts. One mount done. One half done. Okay. Those are good. Bamo bamo. And now we just have to make sure that we get let me get the ratchet. That we get the uh, bottom bracket or the bottom bolt nice and tight. And she's good to go. Rear suspension is done. Just kind of using the weight to make sure we're good. Alrighty. And now the only thing we're missing on the rear is the, the rear diff, of course, which I have to I want to go through and regasket, reseal before we put it in there. And we have rotors. We need the calipers. They haven't came in yet. They should be here like mm, three weeks, I think. And uh, then the whole rear end will be done, which is super exciting. But just to see the progress of this compared to what it was before, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's definitely a, uh, what's the word? Uh, I don't even know what I'm thinking now. Uh, victory, I guess. But yeah, we got her done. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't too hard. The, I, the, the hardest thing really was just kind of compressing the springs down, but we have a tool for that. Um, I think now we're going to work on, got to get the hoses. We haven't got the hoses yet. We'll go ahead and clean up the brake, brake thing real quick. And uh, we can go from there, do some sanding, get it cleaned up and put some paint on them. Put them back in here for the battery. And then, yeah, pretty excited. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do now. I'm already done. I guess we can look at how these rotors, these rotors are sick. Super sweet. I can't wait. Super excited to put them on. I just got to wait for them dead gum calipers. We got brake pads. Um, I haven't got the brake lines yet. Uh, I cut them. I got to order them. We're going to, I'm waiting for the new ones to come in. And then we'll hook, we're going to hook the caliper and everything up, get it on the frame so I can pull the jack or we can roll it out, wash it and come back. That way it's easier to paint under the car. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait for the brakes, which is not a big deal. It's an update on that. And then the brakes in the back just won't even be attached. So, but I mean, it's a, it's on a flat surface. I can push the Miata and put it on a chalk block where I can clean it up and then push it back in. Um, yeah, we're pretty, we're getting there. Just the. The weight on it, which sucks, but I'm excited. I guess that's it for this update for sure. Um, I'm going to try and get me a, uh, a head strap for my GoPro. That way I can just keep it on my head and my finger doesn't show. <laughs> I'm holding it. But, um, yeah, we're, we're getting there. It's huge progress now. The whole rear end is pretty much done besides over here with the... Uh, the pumpkin i these castle nuts on the other side are stripped so i have to grind out the bolts we're not even going to put this back in though there's a kit you can buy that bolts the diff to the frame and the tranny to the frame kind of like a normal car this is just a power transfer it basically keeps everything in and like to the frame it's pointless though you know i can just put a, a piece of a beam here and a beam there get rid of all this heavy it's pretty pretty stout like extra 50 pounds it feels like That'll be done. Uh, new seals. That'll be in the next project. We'll probably bust it open and check on everything. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. Um, I guess tune in for the next one. The next one should be as soon as I get the brakes. We'll start working on it. But I need those calipers to come in at least so I can mount everything. I don't want to mount it right now. But yeah, progress, guys. I'll catch y'all later.